made it to Baker Park. It's finally a gorgeous day to walk outside. So we're here and we're working on his heel command out in public. We're about to walk down a really busy part of the park over there by the creek. Lots of people. I'm anticipating some dogs. So we're just making sure that he generalizes all this obedience and mindset that he's learned in the time with us. So that yes, even at Baker Park, you're polite, you're calm, you listen despite distractions, and you can focus. So here we go. We're gonna be healing throughout the park, past people, past dogs. We're gonna be practicing our stationary command at busy places, and just making sure that he's listening to me nicely. So far, I'm really liking his heel. Of course, we've got our e-collar to communicate, and here we go with the distractions. Hi. Hi. <laughs> Beautiful dog. <laughs> Boy. Stay. Down. Good boy. So we're in the park. I'm just doing some basic stuff with Mookie. Here's a tone recall. Good boy. There he is. Good job. Sit. Good boy. Heel. Off leash healing in the park. Healing past traffic, no problem. my e-collar. When do I use my e-collar? When he strays out of that heel position, I tap. If he's straying back or to the side, I tap my tone. If he's pushing ahead, I tap my stem. The number determines uh, where we are. How excited is he? What is he responding to? You might have to change your numbers. stop he should sit good boy stay good boy down what a good boy Mookie come good boy what a happy boy sit good boy heel can do all kinds of stuff Heel, we can stop and sit, we can practice our downstay, our recall, back to heel. Have him in a nice heel. We're walking past people, strollers, hopefully some other dogs. Nice work. I'm just making sure he can do pass bys like that, past people without dragging to them out of excitement. And we'll get plenty of practice because it's really busy up here. If he did choose to pull towards a person because he's very friendly, that would be an appropriate time to use the e collar. Boy. So people like this are really challenging for him because he wants to go greet everyone he sees. So we've been working on pass-bys like that. The first time a person walked by us like that, he, in a friendly way, lunged towards them. And that, again, would be a good opportunity to use your e-collar. Because he, he needs to learn he can't just lunge towards people 
Otherwise, walking him down the street is going to be absolutely miserable because he's going to be pulling you towards every person he sees. Good job. Getting lots of opportunities to pass by people. Sit. Good. Adjust the leash here. Heel. Good boy, Mookie. Good boy. And we're going to turn around, go back the other way. Another pass by. Very nice. all the people walking past a lot of people which is a big struggle of his just because he's such a friendly guy and he wants to go greet everyone he sees good job it's so nice to be walking a dog that's not pulling you towards every other person it sees Good job, Mookie. Good job, bud.
it. This is our last stop on our downtown and Baker Park adventure. We're going to be walking a lap around the lake here. And just to remind you, we always start field trips off with a downstay in the car and they wait for release to come out. So I'm going to grab the leash. Break. Got my leash tucked in my hoodie, so I'm essentially walking Mookie hands-free all throughout the park. Fast people. 